the real seal city. Is everybody ready to go? Let's proclaim the greatest radio show. Welcome, fans, to another episode of The Spread. I am your host, Jim Sella, in studio with J Dash and Big Easy. We got our extra basis segment for you this week. We're going to talk about Johnny Cueto and the big trade to the Royals. The Royals got Cueto from the Reds for not a whole lot. What do you think, Dash? Did they give up the farm for him? I mean, I wouldn't say a whole lot, but they did give up some good prospects for him. That Brandon Finnegan was a top 100 prospect coming into the season. He's just 22 years old, and he pitched well in the minors. Now, he was actually pitching out of the bullpen a little bit for the Royals this season. And he really didn't work out into the starter they wanted. But the Reds believe he is going to be a starter. And he, I actually like that guy coming into the season. And then they got this other lefty, John Lamb. He was a former top 20 prospect heading into 2011, though. And then he had Tommy John surgery. And it took him a while to come back. But he's pitching very well this season. Has a 267 ERA. Pitching in the Pacific Coast League as well, which is a hitter's league. So that bodes well for Cincy, too, which we know is a hitter's ballpark. And then they got another good lefty in Cody Reed to come over too. He was a former second round pick. He has a 2.14 ERA this season. So they got three good pitching prospects and they need it. The Cincinnati Reds I'm talking about because outside of Robert Stevenson, I mean, they have Rossell Iglesias, Michael Lorenzen, Anthony DeScafani. None of these guys are top end of the rotation type pitchers so they're trying to bring in a bunch of pitchers and try to fill out this rotation for the future and I, I like these three prospects coming over for Queda. Well the Royals are 60 and 38 this year they got the best record in their division and and all of the AL does the Queda trade make them the favorite for the AL and possibly for the World Series? Well, you, you have to ask yourself, first of all, were they f the favorite already because really there's the Yankees, the Royals, and the Angels or Houston, I mean, none of those teams are really completely dominant. And KC was already winning without Cueto. But just today we heard they brought in Ben Zobrist as well. We can mention him, him real quick. KC gave up another very good, this might be their best pitching prospect in Sean Manea. He's heading to Oakland for Ben Zobrist. Now, KC, they have struggles at second base with Omar Infante, Infante having a bad season. Alex Rios is struggling in right field this season. Alex Gordon is on a DL right now trying to recover from a I think it's a hand or a groin strain is what it is. So it's going to be a while before he comes back. Ben Zobers can fill any one of those positions when needed and they might not be done either. They could bring in another bat. They could afford to do that, but you said their payrolls at what 120 million. They may be maxed out now, but Johnny Cueto for this rotation is huge because they have the best pitching staff in the AL when you combine their rotation with their bullpen. They allow the least runs in the American League. But it's it's pretty much all bullpen with Herrera, Davis, and Holland at the back end of that bullpen. That's the best combo of three relievers you can have at the back end. And then they got Jason Frazier, Ryan Matson, Franklin Morales, all have ERAs well under three. And that's not even it. They just got Chris Medlin back, and they have other good relievers on that staff. But this rotation, it's led by Edison Volquez. Your boy. You think Listen, he's the best pitcher in baseball? I never said that at oh, I all. I think so easy you remember me saying anything like that i don't i don't recall talking about edison except for last year when he was playing for our team well, he wanted to sign volquez instead of burnett well actually oh, yeah. burnett's I remember falling talking, off talking recently his he's era had two bad starts well listen his era was under two going into the all-star break now it's up over 250 i think it's like 270 right now so he actually got lit up since the all-star break but yeah i'd rather have him than volquez right now still probably but volquez has been pitching very well for KC this season. He's their number one and they have the best record in the American League. Just think if he was the Pittsburgh's number three or number four pitcher. But... Then the Cubs would be ahead of us in the standings. I highly doubt that. <laughs> well, the, you were talking the uh, Royals starting rotation. They only average 5 point, like 5.5 innings per game. Like They don't even go point long. Five innings or 5.0 innings? Well, whatever the stat is. Yeah, like I said, Volquez has been uh, their quote-unquote ace this season. Chris Young has been decent with the 332 RA, but he's nothing great. Jason Vargas just got hurt. He's done for the season. Your Dono Ventura, 
he has a very powerful powerful arm and he is very young but he's also very inconsistent he was sent down for, to the minors for a little bit he just doesn't hit his spots right now but in the end I think he's going to be a very good pitcher and then there's Danny Duffy with a 403 ERA Jeremy Guthrie hasn't pitched too well a 535 ERA this season they got four starts from Joe Blanton and Johan Pino made a start recently Pino. none of these guys are that great outside of Volk has has having a great season young he hasn't been pitching as well recently either I think his ERA is over six over his past five or six starts so really bringing in Cueto, at least you have a one and two now. And I think actually believe Cueto and Volquez are very good friends. But look, bringing We've in open relations. Sorry, bring bringing in Cueto may actually just make the AL favorite even more of a favorite. Really, in my mind, how's he gonna? Sorry, but how's he gonna? It, it's a different league. It's a different okay. style of baseball. Well, You're listen. not pitching against pitchers now. I mean, is he even? Is he going to mow heads down or what? Maybe he's going to struggle. Who knows? Well, in my opinion, the move's not going to affect him too much, the move from the NL to the AL. No First matter, of all, huh? he already pitched in a hitter's ballpark his entire career in Cincinnati, and he's proven that he can be a top end ace. I mean, this season he has a 262 ERA, an 093 whip, 120 Ks in 130.2 innings with just 29 walks, opponents hitting just 196 off of him. You should have looked up his pitching record against uh the american league. american league and you know well here let's just take a look at his last start to reinforce that he can pitch in hitters ballparks at colorado eight innings pitched four hits allowed no earned runs one walk five k's he got the win to move to seven and six obviously cincinnati's not a good team so he's only seven and six right now this season but listen he's pitched in a hitters ballpark his whole career he just showed against Colorado he can dominate in a hitter's ballpark. I don't see this affecting him too much. This guy is hard to hit, just 93 hits in 130.2 innings. Whether you are in the NL or AL, he's going to be hard to hit. I, I think this guy is still going to dominate. Is the Zobris trade or the Cueto trade bigger for the Royals? Cueto. Yeah, I think the Cueto trade would be. They they didn't have an ace. Listen, that's the one thing you can say, hey, this team wasn't the favorite in the AL because when they get into the playoffs, they don't have an ace. Edinson Volquez is going to be their guy. Well, you bring in Cueto, now you have an ace. So, What happens to their fifth starter? Who's their fifth starter? See, you can – really, man, it's Cueto, (laughs) Volquez, Jordano Ventura, and then you can fill it out with Chris Young or Danny Duffy – you could give it the Guthrie. I mean, when you hit the playoffs, it's probably going to be those three. You might see one other guy make a start here or there. But Cueto, he'll make his Royals debut Friday in Toronto. So here we go. This is the best hitting team in all of baseball. Scores the most runs in all of baseball. Cueto's going to face him on Friday. Damn. So there you go. You're going to you're going to see how he fares <laughs> in the American League, really. But I, I wouldn't judge it all on that start. Nobody has pitched well versus Toronto this season. So Blue if he Jays dominates made, Toronto... Blue Jays made a move, didn't they? Yes, they brought in Troy Tulowitzki in a trade for Jose Reyes Tula. and a couple prospects. I, I believe Hoffman was one of them. He's a good pitching prospect. So there's another bat. Yeah, I kind of like that move for both sides. I mean, Toronto definitely got better at shortstop with Tulowitzki, but Jose Reyes is one of the best shortstops in baseball, too. And... Now, Colorado can go deal him for more prospects. Mm. Prospect it up. Then we can talk about him on our but prospect But that's it. Checks. I'm saying the Royals are definitely the favorite in the AL. It's either them, you got the Yankees, and then you got <laughs> the Angels. First of all, I want to point out I was the only one to pick the Yankees to finish first in their division, although they haven't done it yet. They're on their way. Garbage. Yeah. Yankees are garbage. And I predicted A Rod's thirty home runs. He's got no one cares, dude. No one cares about the KC segment about you and A Rod's love affair. Mm, Everybody cares when I'm right. A Rod, you're old men, old men fetish. Royals on the way, on the way back to the World Series. Maybe they'll meet the Pirates and beat them. Possibly trade Pedro to him. That's all we got for you today, folks. Thanks for coming in, guys. Thank you, fans, for listening. Fans, you can follow us on Twitter at bet underscore the spread. You can follow me on Twitter at bet Jim the win. Check out our Facebook page at facebook.com slash bet the spread. Check out the website at thespreadnews.simplesite.com. 
Go to our YouTube page, subscribe to that, and click the thumbs up on every video. Go back to the beginning and just click thumbs up on every single one. Mm, spread them.